Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being up bright and early. Our next speaker is uh, Alexander Nimmervall to talk to, uh, to, talk to us about uh, Outlook Kaldorf synchronization. Alexander, it's yours. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining this early on a Sunday morning. I would like to present you the Outlook Kaldorf synchronizer, the missing link in um, open source exchange server replacement. Um, let's start um, with the nightmare of every IT department which tries to deploy an open source group resolution because it's the integration of um, Outlook. Um, anybody tried out this little connector here? It's, I can really recommend it. Yeah? It's a three phase to USB connector. <laughs> so. That's the feeling you have when, when you try to integrate Outlook in many open source solutions. Yeah? Um, OK, more seriously, um, what are the alternatives to Exchange Outlook deployments? Um, of course, there's the Exchange Active Sync protocol. Some open source solutions um, implemented that. But it's still a proprietary protocol, of course. And it also has some, some limitations together with Outlook. But I believe you will hear more about that solution in the next talk from Copano. They implemented such an integration as well. Yeah? Then there was um, OpenChange. It's the only open source MAPI implementation on top of Samba 4. But unfortunately, this project got um, stalled as well. Even the website is down at the moment. Um, and there are many other so-called open group resolutions which use proprietary connectors for um, integrating Outlook or dropped Outlook support completely like Zarafa was doing in the last years. Um, so hopefully we can come to the rescue. Um, we are the only open source um, Outlook add-in for supporting the open protocols Kaldorf and Kartov. We can synchronize events, tasks, and contacts um, between Outlook and any Kaldorf or Kartov server. Um, it's under HPL version 3 license. And it was initially, initially developed as a master thesis project, so the first proof of concept, at the University of Applied Sciences, Technikum Wien in Vienna, in the software engineering master degree program. Um, so this was around two years ago, I believe, and nowadays we have more than 350,000 downloads and a rising community, so rather successful these days. Um, it's based on C Sharp and .NET 4.5 uh, framework. Supported Outlook versions are starting from 2007 to the latest 2016, of course. Um, that's also an advantage compared to ActiveSync because ActiveSync is only available in Outlook 2013 and newer. Um, surprisingly, there are still a lot of older Outlook installations around, and we really got the, the um, ask, many, many were asking us if we could support Outlook 2007 as, as well. We, we didn't um, intend to do it first, but, but we. Um, changed some of the code to support it as well. Yeah. Um, let's come to the features, the main features. Of course, it's possible uh, to have a two-way synchronization. Uh, a nice feature is a time range, time range filtering, which can drastically reduce the amount of traffic and synchronization time, um, because it's rather useless, for example, to synchronize 3,000 events which, which lie five years in the past, for example. Um, this is possible for most Kaldorf servers, but many clients don't, don't support it. For example, with Thunderbird Lightning, you don't have the possibility to um, select the time range. So this is a nice feature, which is also not possible with, with Active Sync and that, and that kind. Um, of course, we have transport layer security support. You can use self-signed certificates if you allow it explicitly, and the uh, client certificate authentication possible as well. Yeah? Um, we support auto-discovery, which is also a nice um, feature. You can configure it on the server side, um, so you don't need the calendar 
the exact calendar resource URL, like in, in Thunderbird, for example, so you can um, auto discover all calendars if you just enter the, the server URL. Huh? It's also possible to have DNS service record lookups for discovery of the um, server address from the email address, for example. Um, regarding Google support, that's also a kind of difficult story because um, Google has a cult of server, it's working quite well, but for, for Carta, for, for uh, Gmail contacts or tasks, Google tasks, this um, support is, is missing, so we decided uh, to implement the native Google APIs to support that as well. So you can have uh, own Google account type with OAuth2 authentication and set up to sync all um, stuff with the Google server as well. Yeah? So it's a, a special profile type. Yeah? Um, another aspect is time zone support. Unfortunately, Windows uses different um, time zone uh, identifiers than the, the standard IANA Olsen time zone database, um, which can lead to interoperability issues. But we solved that with the help of um, Mapping possibilities, so you can choose manually the IANA time, time zone. We, we map that, or you can switch to UTC if you, if you prefer that as, as well. Eh? This makes an, a difference, of course, for recurring events which span over um, daylight saving time changes, for example. So that could, could be difficult. Um, we also support to map um, the formatted appointment bodies from, from Outlook, so the formatting doesn't get lost, but unfortunately it's not stored in HTML, so we needed to convert it from the RTF format, which Outlook uses internally to HTML description, and we store that on the CALDF server as an extended alternative description attribute, so that's a nice feature as well. Um, here you can see uh, advanced settings dialog. We use a rather modern um, WPF UI from, from Windows, so it integrates quite well to the, to the <coughs> Outlook settings. Um, a nice feature as well is the possibility to um, synchronize different server calendars into one Outlook folder, and you can distinguish them by Outlook categories. You can even uh, map the server calendar colors to the Outlook category colors, so you have a nice merged view of your of your server resources in, in one Outlook calendar folder, for example. So you can configure these advanced settings. This is, of course, hidden in the in the normal user view, and you have to enable the, the advanced settings because it's rather complicated to set everything up. But there are predefined profiles available. Um, you can use them for um, existing server, server support. So we, we support uh, already some, some of the well-known um, servers with predefined settings for each of them. Um, more fancy stuff um, is, for example, support for distribution lists. As far as I know, we are the only Outlook add-in which supports the um, Sogo Willist format. It's a special um, format the Sogo group where server uses to store contact groups and we can map them to Outlook distribution lists. Yeah? The members of such contact groups are linked to the individual contacts, of course, so if you change an email address there, it's, it gets reflected to the uh, member in the distribution list and updated there as well, of course. So this is um, quite nice, and we plan to support more such um, group formats because this is a bit difficult. In the WCART um, standard, there are different kinds of, of concepts, how to store groups, and we have to um, try, try to, to support all different kinds of that and interop with mobile clients like Duftrate, for example, which uses also some of that group stuff for Android. Um, as a small case study, I can show you the deployment we did in a, in a university setup. It's quite... Uh, heterogeneous environment. We 
try to support all possible um, clients. And on the server side, we have a um, Sogo um, group um, server. Um, supported clients are Outlook, of course, with our LDN, then Thunderbird Lightning. Um, on the mobile side, we support Android with Daftroid. It's another open source cult of client which we can recommend. Um, and of course, there's native cult of and cult of support in all Apple devices. Um, we also implemented an LDAP global address book. You can add that as an account type in, in Outlook. And with the help of that, um, it is possible to set up a global Outlook um, free PC URL. We made a web front end, a small PHP script, which um, let the user, allows the user to, to configure the um, free PC calendars, which should um, be included in the free PC URL. And with that, together with the address book, um, you can configure a global Outlook of the placeholder um, name is, is mapped to the, to the individual contact, and you can add attendees to, to meetings and check their availability and schedule meetings with that. So it works rather, rather well and um, quite similar to an exchange um, setup. So this is a nice, nice feature. Um, the internal architecture. Um, is implemented as a generic synchronization framework, so it's not limited to Calder for or Cardiff sync. We can um, sync arbitrary um, entities which are versioned um, with, with server entities. It's implemented internally as a state machine, um, a rather generic architecture, and the focus is on performance. We did some tests recently. For example, it's possible to sync 3,500 contacts initially in 90 seconds. That sounds much, but the limiting factor here is the Outlook object model. And we um, tested a, a commercial Outlook add-in, which nearly needed one second per, per entity. So this would have uh, taken one hour for the initial sync. So it's rather faster, our solution, hopefully. Yeah? And con consequent subsequent syncs, uh, without any changes, take around three seconds. Yeah? So it's Rather, rather fast, hopefully, compared to, to other solutions. Um, there are some challenges, of course. Um, we are dependent on C Sharp, iCalendar, and WeCut parsers. Mm, both projects here are um, rather abundant, and it's they are need need desperately needed um, developer. Um, some features are missing. We forked the WeCut library already, and did some bug fixes because no one else is, is maintaining the, those projects. So maybe someone can, can resurrect them. Um, there are also some Outlook object model issues, um, differences between the COM objects Outlook uses and the .NET with the garbage collection. So we need to implement some wrappers. iCalendar generally has a more uh, generic data model, so some properties can't be mapped properly. Um, the UI should stay responsive, of course, which is difficult because Outlook by design is an SDA application and some stuff needs to be done in the main thread and you, otherwise you, you lose the, you risk the uh, data loss of the internal MAPI um, object model. Yeah? Um, future work, as already mentioned, we try to support more kinds of contact groups. Here's an example of a um, extended address book kind group um, we card with, with group members. Um, we want to implement collection sync report, which should speed up the, the initial uh, synchronization. Um, maybe there is even the possibility to implement a server-side um, solution natively on the Exchange server. We will support attachments soon. Maybe it could be linked to cloud storage. For example, Nextcloud API would support that. And there are a lot of other ideas and, and future tasks to do. Eh? So thank you very much. Um, you can find sources and releases on GitHub and, and SourceForge and more information on our web page. And here you see supported server profiles, just a few of them. There are even more supported, of course. Eh? Thank you.
Alistair. Thank you very much, Alexander. Unfortunately, we're uh, out of time, but uh, I suggest uh, you go to Alexander and ask your questions personally, but we need to get set up for the next speaker. So thank you very much. If you want to leave the room, please use the door on your left-hand side so people from the right hand can enter. Thank you.